Greetings, dear viewers. Anthony Mars Jr. on Power Rangers Lost Galaxy fan film with a brand new edition of the Terra Venture Podcast with Terra Venture Podcast episode 330, presented by my Morphin Megaverse Power Rangers Facebook group. Haven't joined? Check it out now. And by the way, happy Labor Day weekend, everyone, for those that are watching at the time I'm recording this. So, it's been 20 years as of September 3rd, 2021, since the entire Power Rangers fan base had lost one of the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And of that would be Tui Trang, who played Trini, the original Yellow Ranger. Death is a really hard thing to talk about on this channel and celebrities that have died, Power Ranger actors that have died particularly. And, you know, in the three years I had stopped doing the podcast, I never did thought about talking about Power Ranger actors that had passed away since Tui's passing. Recently, um, after I had no longer did this podcast anymore, um, in 2019, we had lost Robert Axelrod, who who did the voice of Finster, Lord Zed, and various monsters in Power Rangers, particularly Lord Zed and Finster in MMPR. Uh, we lost Cody Slanton, who was Paul Schreier's uh, character's child counterpart of Bulk, um, with Slant the latter, you know, Cody Slanton doing the voice, doing a. Uh, bulk as a child during season two of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers for the Rangers Back in Time two-parter and the Alien Rangers uh, miniseries. And Alistair Brown, and then on the Disney era side of things, the Ranger actors that passed away uh, also in 2019, Alistair Brown, uh, Browning, who played Dustin's dad in one episode of Power Rangers Ninja Storm, and was the voice of Xeno Wing, the Dino Charge Silver Ranger, at age 65 of cancer. And of course, Pua Magasiva, who was the Red Wind Ranger Shane in Power Rangers Ninja Storm also. All four of those guys have passed away. Last year, we lost Bruce... Uh, Bruce... Um, Alistair, no, uh, uh, Alice, what was his name? Uh, who played uh, Master Fant in Power Rangers Jungle Fury? He passed away sometime last year, or was it this year? I can't remember, but it's it's been a while. So, and you know, thinking back to a lot of the Power Ranger actors we've had, you know, that are no longer with us. And maybe bring up the question of bringing up the first big uh, Power Ranger actor death of the 21st century. Because when Power Rangers started in the 90s, everybody was alive and well. But once we got into a decade after the show at that point, since Time Force, we basically started losing some notable faces and names of the Power Rangers franchise since 2001. Oh yeah, and let's not forget um, Jason David Frank's brother who played uh, David Trueheart uh, in Power Rangers Zeo, Tommy's brother fictionally on the show. He passed away some days or around the same time as Tui's passing and that would explain why Jason David Frank couldn't make it to Tui's funeral because he couldn't do, it seemed like he just couldn't do two memorials for two actors that have been in the franchise during that time. It's highly understandable in Jason Frank's uh, reasonings why he couldn't go to um, Tui's funeral when knowing his brother's funeral also happened the same time. It's highly understandable. And, you know, I was just thinking about Tui Trang uh, just now because today, today is that day the Power Rangers fandom had lost her. And I had these thoughts, and I was going to plan on doing this video over the summer as we were getting close to September, which is now, and at the time of this recording. And I was just thinking about, about if Tui had not passed away 
I wish that she would have still been with us 20 years later today still. If she never did have that car accident and died in the, in that tragic car accident, she would have been still been here. She would have still did stuff past Power Rangers, some TV work mainly, some movies, something like that. Um, but then up until this point with uh, the Ranger fandom, with convention, with conventions and meeting fans and stuff, in this day and age of uh, pop culture uh, fandom extravaganzas and stuff, in this day and age with Comic Cons and stuff like that, she could have still been with us for that. And I was just thinking about all the things that could have been. If, again, if she never had that car accident 20 years ago today. And I know that for all of those who were fans of her character of Trini, the original Yellow Ranger. You know, one begs the question what the character of Trini would have been doing after her, Jason and Zack had left midway during season two of Mighty Morphin. Because it's one of the most talked about mo- behind the scenes moments in Power Rangers and in, in its overall history about what could have been if like, you know, even back when I was watching, um, well, I got to try not to compare myself with anyone talking about this before, but when, when those three left, well, though Jason did come back a couple of times during Zeo in the Turbo movie and Forever Red, but when it came to Zack and Trini's uh, absences after Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and during their time on there, you know, one begs the question what could have been for Trini most indefinitely. And, like, you know, there have been plans in the past, like, you know, when Power Rangers was sort of uh, losing interest in the kids that were growing up, that, that were watching the show up until sometime in, like, Zeo and Turbo, there were plans for some of the rangers from mighty morphin that were leaving that fans always wanted to come back because we didn't want to say goodbye to them so prematurely and i think that the departures of trini zach and jason was very premature so when you take that in account with a nip in the bud with that it seems like a lot of Power Ranger fans never did got the closure with those three characters. We kind of sort of got a closure with Jason because Jason just came back recently in um, that Dino Ranger team up in Beast Morphers, but that's another thing to discuss another day. But just, you know, you get the point. But there have been times, even when we don't have the original actress doing Trini as the original Yellow Ranger. Um, for, let's say, later anniversary team-ups or so with Power Rangers. We did, however, saw Trini in suit, according to what Ranger Wiki said, about many Rangers coming back by Legendary Battle and Super Mega Force. But when we had the Dino Ranger stuff in Beast Morphers with Mighty Morphin, Dino Thunder, and Dino Charge in their Rangers, and what little Dino Charge Rangers that we got, just mainly the primary six, and then the three Dino Thunder uh, trio, and then the original five Mighty Morphin. Now, Trini did come back in costume for Beast Morphers, but the character, once again, just like Season 2 Mighty Morphin, was done by a voice dubber stand-in with her grunts and stuff. She didn't have no dialogue during Beast Morphers when underneath that Sabertooth Tiger helmet. She just said nothing but just some grunts and did fights, and that's it. And... You know, there has just been so many possibilities what would have happened if we never did lose Tui Train. And I know I never met any Power Rangers actor in person, like at conventions in recent years, but I do follow plenty of Power Ranger actors on social media like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, what have you, YouTube. Um... But I've seen plenty of uh, actors from Mighty Morphin, particularly of the original six, pour out beautiful tributes to Tui, especially the original Red Ranger himself, Austin St. John. If you remember his tribute uh, video about Tui from last year or so, that was a great touching tribute to her. 
And even when I was watching some interviews with like David Yost and Amy Jo Johnson and uh, Walter Jones reminiscing about uh, Tui in some fan interviews, um, they were also touching tributes. Because when you only have just only five of the original six Power Rangers still with us today, and even now in their 50s, last decade they were just in their 40s. See, possibilities about Tui's accident makes us wish she could have still lived to be in her 30s during the 2000s, her 40s in the 2010s, and with her um, by December of two years from now, by the time Power Rangers reached the big 30 in 2023. I just kind of wish that she could have lived long enough right now to still reach almost her 50 years of life on Earth. But that was never going to happen, was it? And it's just it's just so tragic. And whenever I do watch her performance of the uh, of a uh, trainee on screen on the two seasons of Mighty Morphin she was on, it just makes me wonder what could have been and what Saban could have done for her and Austin and Walter when they were still going on. Because of course, when Power Rangers started, it was a non-union production, and you know the cast were being po- paid poorly, filming episodes weekly. And, uh, you know, and then the conditions were bad, the residuals and, uh, you know, and, and their pay, pay grades and stuff. And it's like, it's just, again, what could have been. And it's just, I find it sad that her life ended so soon at age 26 or 27 um, when she, when she died in that car crash. And I kind of wish, you know, she should have just, you know, she had a wedding to go to that time in the hours of her demise 20 years ago. And she, she could have just waited until the next day to do the, the, the wedding. Why did the wedding have to take place that night? Is baffling. And... She had she and a, and a friend was on was at in a rush to get to a wedding for a friend of hers or something, but then only to then tragically get killed because there was a, a car that was probably uh, crashing her and uh, some other passenger and another passenger, and then it's just sad she had to fall victim into that crash. She was so young at 27 when she crashed and died. And you know how it is when you have reckless drivers at night. And, you know, you have people. That's why I got to be careful in anyone out there. Uh, if you're a pedestrian walking around at night and you got cars that have just the, the, the front lights, but they don't have, you know, the passengers, you know, the people driving their cars have to be in the vehicles in the dark at night and just only have the lights to the vehicle. If you don't see any, if you, if for those who are just reckless drivers and don't be careful, um, just hope you don't run into anybody in the dark and otherwise you'll get them hurt or killed. And that's, that, that same goes for, for me because even at this time, at the time I was recording this, it was at night, and I got to be careful going out at night because I don't want something bad happen to me, like getting injured or killed by someone being a reckless, careless driver. So I think that's what happened. Some person was a careless driver and ran into the car that, that Tui and two other people was in. And, you know... Maybe they should have delayed that wedding until the next day because it, sh- it should have never happened. But she had she had some friends, a friend or so that had a wedding at the time. So they had to do it that night. But in the aftermath of two weeks passing within the Power Rangers fandom, but the fandom was, you know, very small. It wasn't where we are with this big peak of the the fandom community yet. With uh, you know, all the stuff with po- celebrating Power Rangers with, like on the internet or at conventions and whatnot, and social media. You know, 
I was, you know, of all the things considered, like, you know, in the years following her time off of Power Rangers and when it came up to anniversary specials and team ups, if Trini was included in any anniversary uh, episode when Power Rangers reached its milestone anniversary years, like 15 or 20, the 25th, the 30, she could have still done those things and still repraised Trini's character today you know I mean can you imagine in an alternate universe 20 years ago in 2001 time force would still happen but and when it was almost closing out running uh, you know closing out with its run before we were going to start wild force can you imagine if Tui didn't have that um didn't die in that accident car accident that fatal car accident on September the 3rd or the second whenever it took place. Whenever Power Rangers would get to its milestone anniversary season, like a 10th anniversary or 15th anniversary, do you think she will be invited to come back and play Trini again? Um, even when we had, you know, now suppose that while we do have Wild Force through... Mega Force uh, to happen between these peri- between this period after Time Force in two thousand one, but just saying in an alternate universe, when if um, of course Super Mega Force we had uh, all of the Power Rangers uh, in costume mostly by their characters, and they were only morphed. Can you imagine when they were going to pick whatever legendary Rangers to represent twenty years of the franchise to meet with the Mega Force Rangers? One of those Rangers, other than Tommy, you know, could have been in Legendary Battle in an alternate universe. And suppose if Tui, as Trini, was there for that reunion episode of Legendary Battle. But we know Legendary Battle was, you know, terrible. And we know that many, a number of past Rangers declined to come back for that. And some Rangers, as rumored for back when I talked about the 25th anniversary and based on rumors of Ninja Steel's anniversary episode, that would be, of course, Dimensions in Danger. And Ninja Steel would still happen in that alternate universe of this timeline of things and pop culture and television and stuff and Power Rangers. And suppose for anybody for Mighty Morphin coming back for the 25th anniversary and other reunion uh, things for MMPR's cast. Can you imagine when we had uh, Super Ninja Steel with Dimensions in Danger, instead of having like one particular fan favorite Yellow Ranger of the Neo Saban era coming back, why couldn't they just replace her with Trini, the original Yellow Ranger? But no, I think it's best to save Trini for that Dino Ranger team up. And I know that Austin, I know that uh, Tui and, you know, I'm not Tui, I know that Amy, Walter, and David, they didn't, well, you know how David Yost is currently, and I'll talk about David Yost in another video about what led to him and his behind the scenes fiasco about his harassment and what led to him coming out uh, in 2010 in a different video commemorating 11 years after he came out homosexual. But we know that Amy Joe Johnson and Walter Jones are going to be hard to get, you know, get uh, get back into Power Rangers, especially in time for the 30th anniversary, because we're already, as of now, two years away from Power Rangers' 30th anniversary. And, you know, many of any many of us who always loved the original six just want to see the original six on screen again in suit and out of suit. But no, but. You know, again, the circumstance with Tui. And the, despite the fact she's gone and, you know, it's just that's just with Tui gone after 20 years or more, it's just not happening. Heck, I mean, outside of the show, I mean, when we had the premiere of that movie, the, the 2017 movie, um, you saw five of the original six Power Rangers together, but no Tui train because, again, Tui passed away um and you know again in the ultra universe if that movie was still made the way it was she would still be with the other rangers you know austin walter amy joe tui and jdf 
she would have still been alive for that movie premiere. And, you know, all these other things that I can imagine in an alternate universe, if you predate, go back, backtrack 20 years ago, around this time, before her her un, un, uh, untimely demise, she could have done those things. Heck, she could have done more movie and TV parts past Power Rangers. She did have a few acting credits after Power Rangers, but it was less. Like a sequel to The Crow and some little other project she did. Um, but, but it seemed to like, well, if Saban should have never screwed the pooch with Tui along with Aust- uh, Walter and Austin when they were still doing the second season. She would have had a way promising career as a film and TV actress, even past the point of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. But yet, look at Amy Jo Johnson, Kimberly, the original Pink Ranger. Well, she's still alive and well with, with us still, but um, she made it. Heck, even uh, Johnny on Bosch, um, who was... Uh, Walter Jones's replacement for the Black Ranger, you know, Adam, you know, with uh, Johnny. He made it past Power Rangers with voice acting and anime and anime dubs and stuff. But everybody else that has been in Power Rangers, particularly the Zordon era and stuff, Z- Saban era, most of them decided just do nothing besides later on with conventions and other independent projects reminiscent of their time on Power Rangers. Like with Jason David Frank uh, currently doing that uh, Power Rangers-esque fan film, Legend of the White Dragon. And he also did uh, the web series My Morphin Life and stuff. And, uh, well, Austin, he had been doing some overseas paramedic stuff until he came back here in the States to meet us fans at conventions. David Yost, well, you know what happened with him. He was only a producer for some TV and stuff until he just moved on and stuff like that. And I don't know what Walter Jones is doing now. So, you know, when you have one piece of the the original six to the core gone, you know, you you knew that there was going to be that piece missing, and that piece was Trini. And when you don't have the original actress around anymore, it hurts the legacy of MMPR a bit. And for potential reunions with the originals. And, you know, her her untimely demise did also shift the course of Power Rangers history, um, particularly the history for the Mighty Morphin cast. And, you know... She, you know, I, I'm just speechless just talking about it, and I wish I would talk more. But if if there was some things that she could have done today, and you know, I can imagine in an alternate universe if she was still alive today. Like I said earlier, she could have met other Power Ranger, fa- you know, you know, with the with the fandom's big implosion since 2010, or ever since the first Power Morphicon in 2007, she could have, you know, met us the fans. As we grew up now, and while we had seen David, Amy, and Walter, and Austin, and Jason, and every every other actor from MMPR meet fans over the years lately, as of late, one of, you know, of all of those people of Mighty Morphin, both the original six and later members, Tui is the one that we wish was still with us and we could have met in person today at conventions like Power Morphicon or Ranger Stop or follow what she would she would have done if social media was a thing like what it is like already today. So that's one thing I would have to put there is that, you know, there's just all these possibilities that could have been if she was still with us today. You know, in the Power Rangers fandom, within the series and whatever projects she could have done outside of Power Rangers going forward after doing like a sequel to The Crow or something. And uh, and other things she could have done. 
you know? So, you know, I wish I could say more, but I think I'm going to have to stop right here for the night and today or whenever you're listening to me talk about these thoughts. But all I can say is, in final thoughts, Haddon, if that car accident was just a minor accident, she would still be alive and well and such today. And we would still meet her at conventions and stuff. We would still see her interact with the Power Rangers fandom if she was still with us today. And, you know, social media, you know, fan, you know, fan conventions like Ranger, uh, you know, uh, Ranger Stop and Power Morphicon, you know, centrically about Power Rangers, any other pop culture uh, convention. So there you have it. So those are my thoughts. What are your uh, memories about Trini, the character, and what do you thought and what do you think? Could have happened for Tui Trang if she didn't have that car accident and died from it. So anyway, guys, I'm just going to stop right here. And uh, I'll see you guys next time with a brand new edition of my podcast. So anyway, thanks for listening. And I'll see you guys next time.